today um, I have a little job and I'm going to go meet my mom. So I'm here in the bathroom trying to figure out what to do about my hair. Like, should I fix it or should I just leave it alone? My hair really gets on my nerves sometimes. Cause I like the fact that it's curly, but when I wake up in the morning every day I have to decide whether I'm going to get it wet or just leave it alone. <sighs> it's really hot today. I'm sweating. Makeup's like rolling off my face. I gotta wear glasses because it hides the bags under my eyes. And uh, you know, I'm thinking about what my friend said about you know videos that I posted that I like really shouldn't keep saying that I'm fat. Although I, I have mixed feelings about that because, as far as I'm concerned, I am fat. Okay. Now I'm sweating like a pig, so I am going to go out to the car. Now, my garden is a little bit like my life, a bit disorganized, but not without redeeming value. So, um, those, that little gargoyle, my dad gave me that, I love that thing. Ooh, okay, here, yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, so, and obviously I have a gardening tool there because I'm going to have to retransplant that. I really, um, am happy that there's a tomato but these tomato plants need a lot of water and uh, they're getting dried out and uh, here's my flowers now the grass there is dying and there's my cat she's gotten out I think she wants in Marla yep there she goes there you go girl she knows I'm getting ready to take off and she's indoor outdoor because she's willful not because that's what we wanted okay so um these here big big plants that are growing here and these ones here well you can see I could make a choice about either weeding this garden or letting some of the natural or accidentally planted by me things grow wild see these big leaf things those actually are marigolds but they're not flowering yet and they're kind of choking out my little um petunias that were already, you know, like sprouts when I uh, planted them, and I haven't decided what I want to do with it. So, okay, here's Rabbit. Can you get up and get on the um, other futon, because Rabbit needs to get his stuff that's underneath you, please? Yeah, just get up and go to the other place. Thank you, hon. This is Greg. My fiance, say hi. Oh, come on. <laughs> so today you're going in for the first day? No, I'm going in for uh, I'm going in for uh, to get my schedule, and then I got a date with Skinner Bryant. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I better. Uh, you want to put it in the back seat? Uh, back seat's fine. Okay, cool. Unlocked. No. It's <laughs> It's a lot of baggage to carry around. Yeah, thank God I only got to take it upstairs. Yep. And my thank God my car is huge because I have recycles in the truck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And when you press it again, it will turn off. Um, it's less hardcore than the chemo she was on now, because it's pills and she doesn't have to go in and get it, like, uh, through uh, IV at the hospital. Yeah. So they have her on pills. It's the same thing they give people for maintenance chemo. Yeah. That have uh, multiple myeloma. So it's just, it's not as toxic to the body. So she's doing better on this um, Good. chemo, yeah, than she was on the other one. The other one was really, really rough. And she's, today was her first day of school. She started at, uh, she's got to take, she's going to take some units at um, Berkeley Community College this semester because, um, and I think that next semester she's going to um, go to state. Oh, wow. To San Francisco State, yeah, because she already has an AA. Okay, so I've had lunch with my mom now, and she declined to appear in this little production, so I don't have any video of that, but we went to Fruitvale, to the little mall, but the Fruitvale Bart, 
and ate at the Mexican place and that was good. Now, I changed my shirt because I'm going to have to go to work and I'm going to have to fix my hair for this job. It's not just that my hair is really kind of messy when I don't fix it. It's also that it's really hot today and my hair is hot so it's making my hair hot. My head hot. So I'm going to probably put two braids in it so that it won't get on my nerves. Yes, this will give me an opportunity to work with some new technology. Um, learn the limitations of that technology. My camera right now records onto a chip. It will hold exactly half an hour worth of information. And um, I, it takes batteries, which I keep having to recharge because I have rechargeable batteries. Thank you, Greg. <sighs> I always have mixed feelings about these ponytails. I'm not really um, up to doing anything fancier, so I think I'll go with the ponytails. Yep. I didn't think that uh, it'll probably reduce the amount of sweating I'm doing. I think it's a trip, really, when you've um, been videotaping stuff for years and years. See, my mom and my dad had two different schools of videography because my dad actually was doing videos. When we went to Thailand, my mom had to remind me to do videos that actually had us in them, not just snakes eating mongooses and things like that, because he really wanted to be some type of um, National Geographic or nature style uh, videographer. That was the idea that he had, and her stuff, it was a little more uh, people-centered, and um, so I've been seeing myself on video from a very early age. Besides what the story is you're telling, you're doing it for an audience. And you have to know who your audience is. And if your audience is getting older, while you're getting older, maybe it doesn't make that much sense to avoid um, dealing with or facing the realities that come with that process because people are going through things in life and um, if you don't talk about what you're going through, what is there really to talk about, you know? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking about it again, the whole thing of uh, whether or not it's okay for me to feel or say that I'm fat. think about that a lot because there's a whole differences of schools of thought about that. It's like a very politically loaded subject, much more politically loaded than I would have thought. I actually had to change clothes again because I ended up uh, having to put baby powder on and made a big mess. So now I've tried to put something on that hopefully, as well as being clean and smelling good, um, fits okay. So here we go. That's my big mirror, that's my shirt, that's my pants, that's my fat stomach, which gets on my, oh my goodness, I don't think that's great. But it probably will have to do because I have to be at work at four, so I think it'll be good enough. Uh, yeah, not crazy about it, but I think it's okay. Okay, eh, good enough.